Joseph Marie Vienne, a pivotal figure in the transition from Rococo to Neoclassicism in French art, was born on June 18, 1716, in Montpellier, France. His journey through the realms of art not only marked the stylistic shift in French painting, but also reflected the broader intellectual and cultural movements of his time, encapsulating the Enlightenment's return to classical ideals. Vienne's early life in Montpellier was modest, born to a family far removed from the artistic circles of Paris. However, his evident talent and passion for art propelled him from these humble beginnings towards a future that would see him as a central figure in the transformation of French art. His initial training was under the tutelage of Charles-Joseph Natois in Paris, where he quickly absorbed the Rococo style prevalent at the time, a style characterized by its decorative and playful nature. Despite his early Rococo training, Vienne's artistic inclinations leaned towards the simplicity and dignity of classical art, a preference that would later define his career and influence. His pivotal moment came when he won the prestigious Prix de Rome in 1743, an accolade that granted him the opportunity to study in Rome. It was in the heart of the ancient world that Vienne's true artistic direction was forged. Immersed in the study of classical antiquities and the works of the Renaissance masters, he developed a style that emphasized simplicity, clarity, and noble themes, hallmarks of what would become known as neoclassicism. Vienne's years in Rome were not just a period of personal artistic development, but also a time when he engaged with the intellectual currents of the Enlightenment. He was deeply influenced by the writings of Johann Joachim Winckelmann, whose calls for a return to the simplicity and purity of ancient Greek art resonated with Wien's own artistic sensibilities. This alignment with Enlightenment ideals was reflected in Wien's works, which often depicted moral virtues and ancient themes with an emphasis on austerity and moral clarity. Upon his return to France, Wien's career flourished. He was admitted to the Académie Royale de Peinture et de Sculpture in 1750, and his works were increasingly sought after by the French elite, including members of the royal family. His paintings from this period, such as La Marchande de Maur, The Love Merchant, and Les Adieux de Héloïse et Abelard, showcased his mastery of the neoclassical style, characterized by its emotional restraint and classical themes. Vienne's influence extended beyond his own works through his role as an educator. In 1775, he was appointed director of the French Academy in Rome, a position that allowed him to mentor the next generation of artists, including Jacques-Louis David, who would become the leading figure of neoclassicism. Vienne's guidance was instrumental in shaping the artistic direction of these younger artists, steering them towards the classical ideals that he had embraced. Throughout his career, Vienne received numerous honors, reflecting his significant contributions to French art. He was named Premier Pante du Roi, first painter to the king, in 1789, a prestigious position that acknowledged his role as a leading artist in France. Despite this recognition, the French Revolution brought about a dramatic change in his fortunes. The political upheaval and the rise of new artistic tastes saw Vienne's classical style fall out of favor, leading to a period of decline in his influence and commissions. Vienne's legacy, however, was not diminished by the changing tides of history. He passed away on March 27, 1809, in Paris, but left behind a body of work that had a lasting impact on the course of French art. His pioneering role in the development of neoclassicism paved the way for the likes of David and others who would carry forward the classical ideals that Vienne had championed.